Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So today I'm back with a special video with uh, a collab video with Blondasuna who is also another YouTuber. He mainly focuses mostly on PvP and he has a lot of really great content and always uploads daily. So we're, we're here today and he's um, kind of known for his PvP coaching series. So today I'm going to be here to get coached by him. I actually got coached by him a long, long time ago before he got a YouTube channel. So we're back today to make a collaboration for you guys. Um, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm Blonde Ass and I've been pretty much playing MSL since like I think it was like the third or fourth day of release. So I'm pretty much like one of the most veteran players you'll find out there. And I have like a lot of guides out there on Reddit and stuff like that for just most of the basic content. Although I think I need to update a couple of them with like all the new changes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I really, I really like PvP and that's pretty much like my forte in a way. So I just try to help out as many players as I can with that. Alright, so usually um, you start out by looking at the mo our monster boxes, right? Yeah, I like to just see like what I'm work what like we're working with here, like what kind of a what I, I like to ask the person like what kind of monsters that you really use to PvP and just like checking the gem sets on them and then trying to like explore some other options that the person might not have seen. Okay, so the monsters I usually use for PvP are um, I use my water nightmare, but only in certain situations. I don't even have her gem maxed out. I know it's, it's kind of sad. Um, but I mostly just use my aggressors. Like, I use Cupid, um, my dark Horan, and then, like, I throw in a dark sea star sometimes. And it's usually that. Like, I usually just, just abuse the living yeah, shit yeah, out of my aggressors. It's and, like the full dark offense? Yeah, I, I usually do that. And sometimes I, I throw in my light sarn when um, when they're really really hard to beat and I just need to like out sustain them. Like I know they only have like maybe one water purse. I would uh, and I and they have like some pretty high threat to kill one of my units. Then I, I throw in this light sarn with my dark cupid and then we just like double shield all day long and uh, basically outlast them. So, uh, since I like don't really like play with a uh, mono dark offense very much, you you've, have you experimented much with the random battle thing? Uh, yes, I actually only started yesterday, but I, I win most of my matches. It's yeah. So I'm just curious. Have you ever faced someone that had like uh, one of those higher level players that have one of like the mono light defenses? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, those are actually not too hard. Because I'm not okay. I'm not using um, nukers. I'm yeah. using full aggressors. So yeah. all my monsters are relatively tanky. And um, if I if I go in with like a because what I like to do is um, in the random matches, mm -hmm. I used to go in with a with uh, a team of like um, water nightmare, light siren, dark cupid, something like this, and then mm -hmm. this basically beats like almost anyone but then it was like really really slow so yeah. I switched that up and I went with just Cupid lead and two um, two dark monas and uh, and just like one dark sea star or something like that all right yeah for sure for sure and with, um, with the Cupid lead and the monas um, and sea star they, they're basically like tanky enough and they do enough damage like if they if they're the type that like to put like you know maybe um, like they they have like Thor with like just like actual light nukers or or they keep like snowy or something on defense. I would just one shot those or the wild. Yeah, thing. okay, yeah, I can definitely see how that's like more effective than the nuker defense, but still like very viable against the light ones. That's pretty. That's pretty interesting actually. One thing though is uh, with the changes to the dark cube, the HP shields, right? With like yes. light henna and dark cupid and stuff. Yeah. Um, I see that you're training another Dark Sea Star. Is that something that you're planning to use in this offense instead of one of the Horns? The thing with the Sea Stars is actually I was using I was um, I actually regem some of my Dark monsters. They're not very they they don't fit very well for PvP right now. Like th my Cupid used to have higher resistance. Same with my Miho and stuff. But they do the Mihos do have forty percent. Um, but my Sea Stars don't have any sort of resistance. I basically was training the second Dark Sea Star to, to use like a, as a four aggressor comp to farm the um, farm Slumbering City really fast. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, something that you could that, that's some, that is something that you could try, right? Because if if you get your if you actually get your shield off, um, yeah. On Dark Sea Stars, it it makes them pretty much impossible to kill, and that's like coming from experience of me using mm -hmm. like 
I use quite a few attackers on my offense, not like full nuke or anything like that, but against aggressors, it makes it extremely hard to get, uh, defense aggressors, that is, it makes it extremely hard to get through when they get those shields now. Yeah, so yeah. That's I mean, it's it's not something that's, like, bad to use the Horans or anything like that, but because, like, obviously, like, the Horans are going to benefit more from the leader skill, Yeah. Uh, but it's something that you can think about. Uh, I actually um, met a comp yesterday, like, before I started recording. It was a comp I couldn't beat no matter what. It was a really, really simple comp. It was basically just three Dark Sea Stars and one um, Water Persephone. But his Sea Stars were gemmed so well that they had, like, I think max resistance or something like that. It was just yeah, crit, double defense. No, I, I can definitely see that being a problem, because, especially for your comp, because the the difference between the comps there is that I'm assuming that the battle just like wore on for like a super, super long time, right? Eventually you got worn down. Yeah, basically. He outlasts me, and I, yeah, I can do anything. The, the, the reason for that is because your Dark Cupid, it needs blue orbs to heal, whereas mm -hmm. his Water Persephone doesn't. And it's going to be really, really difficult to focus down his Water Persephone without getting killed by a... Uh, by his sea stars, at least one of your monsters, and then once one of your monsters is down, it makes it even harder to kill the water Persephone. So that yeah, one basically. is definitely a hard one to kill. Um, we can just see you go into a battle for sure, and all right, and, yeah. You want me to do one battle like you usually? Yeah, do? just just talk. Yeah, just talk through all the steps and everything. Okay, I'll talk through everything. I do. I'll see what we're facing. All right, so this is a uh, Odin Thor. Arthur Persephone. Usually, I like to uh, I like to kill the Arth like Water Arthurs before they get their AOE off because I know their balance type, and they're like usually I can kill them within two um, two full nukes, even with a Persephone healing most of the time. So I'm definitely going to be able to finish him off before he gets his AOE off. So I usually just go like this, and then we basically removed one threat, and now it's a, it's a Dark Sea Star. Now, since the Thor is HP based, I actually, um, and I don't have too much, I don't trust my resistance too much, I don't think I, it, it's going to be somewhat risky to keep him alive. He also has his AoE up, so um, I might, one of, one of my guys might get armor broken, so I'm, I want to kill him next turn. I think this should be enough. Okay, that was yeah, that was that was enough. Um, now my C star is probably dead. The Persephone is going to take too long to kill. If I nuke the C star this turn, I should be able to. If this C star survives, I should be able to kill her next turn, even with the Persephone healing. Well, the Persephone also has the active, so it won't be healing. Oh yeah, that's true. I I, I didn't see that. Uh, my C star died. That's unfortunate. And I also got petrified. But I think I think these two should be enough to kill the Sea Star. All right, I have my shield up. I think at this point I I basically win. Yeah. All right. Um. So there is. A couple things that I wanted to talk about. So you talked about during that um, how you don't really trust your monsters resist too heavily, and that's why you decided to focus the Thor second, right? Yes. Yeah. So that that definitely makes sense to focus the Thor early. However, at least in my opinion, I think it ha there's definitely merit in um, focusing the Thor first, actually. Oh yeah. And the reason for that is because uh, when you focus the Thor first, the thing with it is going to be that. <clears throat> it's not going to be able to have a chance to get a, a two-turn shock off. And I noticed that your Miho actually resisted, or your Horn resisted uh, twice on the two-turn shock, which if you're comfortable with your resist and taking that chance, that's perfectly fine, right? Uh -huh. But what you're, since your team is full of aggressors, uh, your team is especially weak to things like shocks and defense downs. Yes. So taking that risk sometimes when you're not comfortable with your resistances on your monsters can kind of be like worse than just... Uh, and Arthur getting an attack down, in my opinion. Oh yeah. That, that Although is true. I definitely, I definitely see your point with the uh, killing it before its AOE gets off, and that can de I, I know like how that generates more blue orbs and stuff like that. Uh huh. But then one thing you also have to focus on is how threatening really is 
and this is kind of something that like isn't really thought about much and uh, is really highly often looked over is just how threatening is them are is uh, the enemy team getting blue orbs in a way. So like the monsters that you saw were, were the light Thor, which you were gonna kill regardless. Yes. Also, uh, has like one blank. He has two attack downs with the, with the Odin and the Arthur, and he has one petrify, mm. which to be honest, like. That's not really the most threatening thing in the world, especially since you're running aggressors, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, so, in my, I just, I think that personally, that uh, killing the Thor first would have been uh, preferable. Um, but other than that, I think that you had the right idea with uh, trying to nuke down that Sea Star in that scenario when he was the Sea Star in the Persephone. Uh huh. Uh, although, if he had gotten petrified, it could have been, it could have been a little bit bad. But I mean, that's just a risk that you have to take at that point. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, other than that, you played the battle pretty well, especially with that comp. Okay. Um. So usually, what uh, we do, what I do, is a lot of PvP used to be like focusing on uh, like choosing the right composition to mm -hmm. uh, overpower your enemy, right? But yeah. obviously, with the new addition of random battle, a large element of that kind of just goes away, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, I mean, true. I think it's I think it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's kind of whatever. So let's just try to play around the refresh clock, I guess, and we'll battle someone else before we do the random battle. All right. You know what I mean? Because, like, you want, we want to do the random battle last because it's guaranteed 20 points, whereas these guys, their values could go down. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it, yeah, so you can go ahead and choose someone. Um, do I go for someone hard? Uh, you can go for whoever. I'm like... pretty sure you can be anyone on this list. I mean, this is right. pretty standard, right? This is like... Yeah, that's uh, a pretty standard comp. I mean, pretty much just replace the Fire Arthur with a Fire Shiva, and that's like the most annoying defense in the fucking world. Yeah. It takes forever to beat. All right. Uh, oh. So this is a really, really balanced uh, defense, but the thing with those balanced defenses is they always have that, that problem uh -huh. um, where they have a lack of a damage threat, if that makes sense. So pretty much there's... In this case, what's going to happen is, if his Leo lands a defense down, it's going to be really, really bad. Yeah. Um, and his Arthur has an AOE defense down, which means we're going to have to focus that thing first. Because, especially since all your monsters are going to be aggressors. However, when choosing for a team comp like this, what we can do is... Um, we can try to select a, a little more towards the, the fire side. And we're going to try to basically... We're, we're going to try to basically make sure we know where everything's going to hit, right? Okay. If you need um, me to regen my monsters, I can do that. But uh, so your fire succubus is good, though, right? Because that's the main thing that that's the main monster that we're is we're going to be focusing on right now. Okay, I actually, fortunately, I actually just regened her like two hours before. Yeah, um, awesome. To farm, uh, to farm on Slumbering City, I was t testing her leader skill out with two HP aggressors. So she's currently on HP, attack, crit rate, a hundred percent crit. Perfect. Um, that's great. That's great. Okay, so we're definitely gonna put her in, and the reason for that is we don't have to worry about the water Persephone after that, especially since she has no water. This guy's no water nightmare. It means that we're like we're fine. Like we don't have to worry about the water Persephone at all. Okay. Uh, theoretically, if you ever Evo three your water nightmare, using the water nightmare would be great because as someone with an Evo three water nightmare, um, if you use the water nightmare's leader skill and make it have eighty five percent resistance. Then uh -huh. it can easily tank a wood leo and a wood valve without taking. And by, by the time that it gets even remotely low, you'll have your le you'll have your active up to heal up anyways. So that's like that would be really nice. Unfortunately, at Evo two, I don't think it's going to quite suffice to, uh, especially since you said it wasn't fully gemmed. It's it only probably, at pl plus twelve. Yeah, yeah. It probably would die to that uh, duo assault. Mm -hmm. um, so if we wanted to put that in, we'd have to do a dual tank, which I'm not sure if you really have anything else to dual tank it with. My only other water monsters are sappers. That's all I got. Yeah, so that's fine. I mean, we don't. It's not. It's not like mandatory or anything. Um, however, I would. Can I see your wood monsters really quickly? I would like to see. I have no wood monsters. No wood monsters. <laughs> I have this guy, and uh, yes, that's it. I only have light dark. I literally. Yeah. I, I only <laughs> have light and dark. Oh my gosh, you're literally <laughs> the opposite of me. Okay. Um. Is it worth using that wood? I don't. Oh, that's interesting. How is, how is it gemmed? If it's gemmed full, is it gemmed full defense? No, it's gemmed full glass oh, okay. cannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, never mind on that. I was gonna say you could use it to uh, tank the fire Arthur stuns and then give a defense down onto the uh, 
Onto the water. Oh, okay. That would have been. It could have been. It could have been a decent monster, but oh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so we're definitely going to be using the um, the dark cube. The dark cube is going to be pretty much stable right here. So unfortunately, that means we're only going to know where where one thing is going to hit, and we're only going to know where the water person is going to hit. The other three are we know. Well, we know that the Arthur is going to hit one of the other units, but. Or no, we know that the that the Leo and the Valkyrie are going to hit any other of the three units besides the Succubus. Uh -huh. And we know that the Arthur is going to hit any of the four units because it's going to have element neutrality on, on the, all four. So it's a little less than we'd like, but at least we took care of one unit, which being that Persephone. We know that it's not going to... Um, we know that it's not going to hit anything except for the Succubus, which can obviously heal up. Okay. Uh, so next thing we're going to want to do is, since his is a sustain comp... Mm -hmm. uh, we want to be able to just first off kill his Arthur before the blue orbs come in for the Valkyrie, and that's gonna be that's gonna be like probably the most important thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a little bit more, uh, a li just a little bit more damage. We're probably gonna. Pro <sighs> mm. We're probably gonna want to use a little bit more. I have uh, this guy. If you if you want. I I took my I stole my uh dark dark uh Victoria's gems and put them on the succubus. That's whose gems she's using right right now. So okay. she's currently ungemmed. The other one I have is yeah. is this Thor. Okay, so um or because aggressors. we want to kill the Arthur beforehand, uh we're definitely gonna want to use a three star defense sound. So the Dark Thor actually works out pretty well. Um the only one other monster I was thinking of was your light wild thing, but I know that's not quite Evo three and level sixty yet, so we're just gonna yeah, I'm in the middle of leveling her right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then other than that, I think... How, how is your Fire Arthur gemmed? Is he decent enough? No, I, I ungemmed him. Alright, <laughs> All right, that's fine, that's fine. Um, we can stick with something like... I, I can gem up some monsters right now if you want to use them, if you want to try them out, like, just to... Just for the uh, video. It, sh it, should be, it should be fine, since, like, you have, you have a decent variety of monsters regardless. Um, I'm just trying to think of whether or not whether we want an aggressor. I'm pretty much deciding between the the dark Jelly and the uh, and the dark Sea Star right now. To be honest, I think Basically, she has one gem that isn't max, but she's still pretty pretty yeah, good. Like, yeah, 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 for sure. I'm just I'm just thinking like whether or not you're gonna need more sustain or not because if you're gonna need more sustain. I'm tr like in my head, you know what I mean. I'm trying to like play out how the battle is gonna go, uh -huh. and I'm really not sure how many things the Valkyrie is gonna heal with its AOE. Because for me, usually what happens is I just seal the Valkyrie with my Water Nightmare, right? Yeah. Uh, but for you, I'm thinking it might. I'm thinking it might be more efficient to go with the uh, the Dark Jelly. It's going to make it a lot safer than the Dark Sea Star because eventually you are going to run out of heals if you don't bring it. So I think it's better like this. So let's just go into it. Let's see how this goes. So obviously, uh, the priority is going to be to kill the Fire Arthur, so we're going to try to go for that 3-star defense down, which hopefully, if we get it, then we like, automatically win the game, pretty much. Okay. Unless he has, like, another hidden Fire Arthur, which would be unfortunate. Oh god, what do I feel like he does? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, 90% of these guys are hiding Arthurs, so I just armor break first turn with, uh... Yeah, dirty Arthur hiders. <laughs> dirty Arthur hiders everywhere. Oh, nice, we got it. Okay, sick. Okay, so then probably... I mean, I don't know how much damage your monsters are going to do exactly, because, I mean, my Succubus is gemmed on Ruin, so whatever you think is going to kill that, I, I, honestly, do, I, I honestly don't know, to be honest. I might need to use all three. Well, maybe a Cupid will crit. Maybe, right? All right that, I'll, that, I'll send these two first. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect, perfect. It's a Victoria. Okay, so that, okay, that, makes, that makes things a lot easier. The Victoria, sweet. So pretty much this is just going to be like a sacrificial hit, right? It doesn't matter what you hit, pretty much the water. First Stephanie is just going to heal it up. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Okay. Unless I hit her. Wait, would, it, would I do enough damage? If you do, if you do more than 10%, which is like... Actually, I think I, that's impossible with my July. Oh, yeah, pretty much. That's what I was thinking. All right, so yeah, so that's pretty much what we thought. The water Persephone hit this fire succubus, and then everything else just hit randomly. So you're going to defense down the light Nike now. Uh, and the reason for that is that's taking out his last damage source, right? Oh yeah. my gosh, perfect stuff. Uh, the Cupid and the Jelly, try that. Ooh, that was Sweet. so much damage. Sweet, and then we're gonna do the uh, the Wood Leo. All right. 
The reason oh, yeah. for that is the Valk is going to heal 20% of its own plus the plus the water Persephone's. So that's like really annoying. Oh my god, everything focuses Succubus. Jesus Christ. Okay, now this is my favorite thing in the world. The Succubus AoE. And ever since the update, Succubus AoE has been my favorite tool in the entire game for PvP. Okay. So let's try that out. Because it's a 100% defense break on a crit. Alright, I'm just do it? Yeah. I do have a hundred percent crit with her, but they oh, all resisted. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, see, so as high as is, uh, we're gonna actually defense down the Wood Leo, and the reason for that is because think of, is because uh, the only way that your monsters die at this point is to the Wood Leo's defense down, right? Yes. Uh, so we're just gonna kill that thing next, and then it's just gonna be smooth sailing. All right, I'm just hit it. Man, your gel eye is critting so much. She actually has like thirty percent, I think. That's really nice. Alright, so we're just gonna AoE with, uh... I think I need to, to put up to the shield. Down, try to defense down with the Thor, I think. Uh, yeah, probably shield with the Cupid, for sure. And then try to defense down it with the Thor is probably the best course of action. Mm, he's resisting non-stop. Yeah, and then just, I guess, auto on his face for the rest of it. This, I mean, the battle's pretty much over at this point, I think. Like, I don't see a way that you lose this. Yeah, he's he's probably dead. Yeah, you don't. I don't even think you need the Thor on that one. You could just like Succubus and Cupid probably to kill it. I mean, I could use the active. It does quite a bit of damage on HP units. I guess. I, personally, I like to say I like to just save the armor down break. The yeah, 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 yeah. I would save the armor break. Just it makes it faster. So you want me to use the? Just, yeah, just try Succubus and Cupid on that. I think that would be more than enough. I think. Okay, yeah. he's dead. You can just defense down. Honestly, at this point, it doesn't really matter, so... Probably purse first. Yeah. Oh, man, he has so much resist. Except for that Arthur. Yeah, the Arthur and the Nike, we got just pretty lucky defense down, which is nice. Hmm. Alright, so, now we just kill him. Yeah, just kill him? Yeah, just kill him. <laughs> just kill him. Put him out of his misery. Uh, I should have comboed. But it's fine. It's 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 over. Yeah, it's already over. I'm not gonna lie. I just I pretty much PVP for like two minutes every for like I don't know like 45 seconds every battle, and then I just set it on auto once I know the battle's over. Oh man, that that picture. Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm actually making a uh, RNG salt montage right now. Oh yeah. From, yeah, from my PVP series. Oh nice. <laughs> I watched it over and oh, it's so. It's so bad. I whine. I whine like a baby so much when my when my units get uh, stunned and stuff like that. When I, more than three units get petrified. I oh remember in one of your videos, you were like, "Oh, you know, this is this is resist or some <laughs> shit like that." And then she like petrifies yeah. her whole team. <laughs> she did that twice in a row. I know exactly what you're talking about. She petrified them. Tw she petrified all my units twice in a row. I was like, oh, "What the fuck is happening?" Uh, all right, let's do all the right. let's just do random battle. Yeah. All right. Um. um Okay, so I mean, for the random battles, it's kind of weird, right? Because like, yeah, you probably just using your normal team. Although, we, if you want, we can try out using some other units. Yeah, definitely, we can try something else. Uh, so we, what if we if we try something like uh, taking out this fire succubus, putting in uh, I like water night. Try try the water nightmare lead, and I say water nightmare lead because it helps you to number one get two healers on your team. Yeah. Uh, which I personally like, and then it also gives you that base resist lead since you have so many light dark monsters. Mm -hmm. So you could do those two, and then, um, hmm, maybe something along the lines of, I guess maybe just like a C star. I like keeping the Thor in there, to be honest. The Thor with the three star defense down can be really helpful. Yeah, he's he's quite strong. Yeah. The only thing with the, yeah, I would just battle with that. But the only thing with the um, Fire Succubus, which is kind of important to note, is that, for example, when I use her, I use her with my Fire Indra, which is on HP Attack Defense, so it's, like, pretty damn tanky. Uh -huh. uh, so it's really important that you either have a dual tanker or you know that things aren't going to hit her, like we knew last game, pretty much, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so this is actually a great team to use Water Nightmare against. It's Let's actually it. probably the perfect example. Uh, so we can just start by Defense Downing that thing, yep. Since we are going to have elemental advantage. Oh, 
boy, oh boy. I might be able to kill it. I, I Holy shit, that did so much damage. I want a dark I want a dark Thor now. Alright. I, yeah, I think he I, might I, be up for one more rebirth after. I'm not sure. They said he's gonna be one or two. Like Hopefully, because I have right now I have nine and all of them are water and fire. <laughs> Alright. Do I do I nuke him? I think is the C star gonna be enough? Because I know C star does quite a bit of damage, but I don't know if it'll just try with the C star alone, I think. I'm not sure how much yours does, but Okay, it's dead. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a dirty Arthur Hider. Uh, Okay, that's fine. You're just gonna seal the uh, seal the uh, dark sea star. Yep. Oh man, it resisted. Right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we're not gonna hit the dark sea star. We're gonna hit the Arthur uh, just to see if it's a tanky variant or an attacker variant. It's probably a attack defense HP. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, unf oh wow, oh, my throat You're is fucked. <laughs> rip night, rip nightmare lead. Okay. Um, so just try stealing the Dark Sea Star again. Okay, nice. This time it and lands. Just focus on the Arthur, yep. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind is that your Cupid does have a pretty fast attack animation, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're comboing, you should use the Sea Star one first if you're trying to combo with Cupid and Sea Star. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I can't even armor break. Mm. Yeah, 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 that's really annoying. Uh... So we're going to do something a little bit different to try to manipulate this thing. Um, this is kind of a weird technique, and it's if it works, it works really well. And if it doesn't work, then it's like, well, we just fucked up really bad. But okay, um, you're gonna hit you're gonna hit two guys on the water purse, and you're gonna hit one on the water nightmare. And the reason for that is blue orb generation. So basically, how blue orb generation works is that. Um, Basically, since you already hit the Arthur multiple times during multiple yes. turns, it's not going to generate as many blue orbs if you hit it again. So you're going to hit the units that you haven't hit yet, and hoping okay. to generate enough blue orbs for your Water Nightmare or your Cupid to hopefully, probably your Water Nightmare, uh, to get enough so you can keep your Thor alive. So that's basically the strategy that I'm trying to do right now. Okay. So what was it again? Hit Just hit two guys on the Water Purse, I'd say, and uh, one guy on the Water Nightmare. So do I send Thor C Star or? Uh, it doesn't really matter because the Nightmare and, and Perts are going to heal all the damage you do. So. Oh wait, that. Maybe that... not actually. That's quite a bit of damage. They're but... so squishy. I just realized I probably should have yeah. just killed straight out killed that Nightmare. Or 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 the maybe purse. Could've, maybe could have. Okay, so okay, so then we look stupid because the strategy didn't work whatsoever. So you can. Tr uh, what you could try to do is is. Just double hit the purse and then seal the nightmare, so so the nightmare won't heal. All right. All right, nice. I got it. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. And your nightmare and okay, this is looking okay I, now. I think I win. I win this. Oh, I resisted it. Um. Yeah. Just do the uh, cubit shield, and then I would actually seal the sea star. Yeah. Alright, this is good. This is very good. Uh, so you can kill the Persephone with everything except your Nightmare, and then you can, um... Yeah, that should definitely be enough. And then pff, just seal the... Seal the Arthur. Yeah, seal the not. Arthur? Oh man, he has quite a All bit right, of resist. Yeah, whatever. The Arthur's healing doesn't really matter, to be honest. He's not gonna break through your shield, so he can't stun. Uh, you can just AoE with the C star, seal the Arthur again, and then attack with a Cupid on the Arthur. Alright. So just a only AoE with the C star and then the rest on the Arthur. Alright, not bad, whatever. You have another shield up after this too. Oh my gosh. They barely broke through. Look at that one little blue orb. Uh, that's that's why I love shield. Yeah, shield again. And then just pretty much just focused on the Arthur. This oh man, it didn't crit. crit. It's unfortunate. Should I seal the sea star? Yeah, yeah, seal the sea star because you're not going to kill that thing anyways. All right, man. I can't. I'm still. I'm honestly salty. F I know you're not salty about it, but I'm salty that your fucking Thor got. St it got stunned and sealed. Like what the fuck? What? <laughs> I I think it's pretty normal. His resist is pretty low, to be honest. I know, but I'm. 
Uh, maybe I'm only salty because you're using the nightmare lead too. Oh yeah. That's what makes me salty about it because it's like an extra 20% resist and then like, uh Oh well, okay. Right, I think I can auto now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was a pretty free, yeah, that was pretty nice, that was pretty free. If I had an armor breaker that was like full tank, I think it would be pretty pretty nice to use with my mm -hmm. team. Yeah, the only problem that it would definitely be the the light wild thing would be really nice to have. Oh yeah. And that's because like for example, the reason I don't use like wood gatito or water shelly on my attacks is literally because number one, they're attackers, so they're not that tanky, and they're not threes as well. Yeah. And um, number two is just because um, what's it called? They, they have a huge element disadvantage when it comes to, like, some teams, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas the light and dark units, as well as the light and dark units, they're, like, they don't really have, like, that problem in a way, I guess, which makes them really nice to have. This, this yeah. dark Odin, holy shit, what the fuck? It's almost, it's almost maxed out, too. Fuck dark Odin. All right, let's attack. Who do you want to attack this time? Uh, let me think. I'm afraid we're going to see me and attack my shitty defense. <laughs> I, I, I actually have no idea where I am in PvP. But I'm pretty... I, I think I'm higher. Um, than, I remember hmm. today I climbed to like 1,100 or something, so... I, I usually just play when I remember. Like, when I remember that, oh shit, it's been 10 minutes, I refresh, I do one mm -hmm. random battle, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's so smart. All right. Let's just choose someone and then the random battle. We'll do that like this time, and then maybe like one more time after that. All right, who do you want to see? I don't know. Maybe like... Oh god, this is actually really cancerous, to be honest. Yeah. All right, let's do this one then. All right, so he has... F okay, we're, we're going to keep the Nightmare in the lead skill. I think, I think this guy's an attacker, right? He's a tank. Is he? I'm pretty sure. He's, I know. I think he's a defender, actually. Oh, he is. All right. I yeah. thought he was an attacker, attacker type. I don't. I'm. Pr I don't think so. I this, could be wrong. This but. one's balanced. Um, he's attacker type. This is tank. Yeah. So pretty much fuck his CC. So that's why we're keeping the nightmare in the leader skill. I'm yeah. not trying to fuck with that CC. Um, this thing is shock too. Definitely keeping the cupid in for the shield. Uh, I actually think. This comp is probably the best comp you could make, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I actually like this comp because you're going to be able to seal a lot of the CC away and you can uh, have the three-star defense down to be able to, um, kill, to kill his units off one by one. Okay, let's just try this. Then. Yeah. I'm so happy that my Nightmare actually has a pretty high roll. It's 24%. Yeah, mine, I think mine's 21, which is like, eh. But my, my monsters resist are usually pretty good regardless of the leader skill anyway. Yeah, it's so only like 3%. doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're, uh, we're probably going to focus on the Van Helen first, the Hunter. Yes. Yeah, so let's just try to defense on that, I guess. Because that's going to be the easiest to oh, kill. Oh, God. Uh, I think the other two will be able to kill it, though. Now, it is a little bit dangerous to kill. Oh, my God. Okay, just steal that. Oh, shit. Please, okay. I'm gonna have to resist something. I'm gonna have to resist a lot like... of stuff. Ooh, okay, fuck, I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Mm, you're not too fucked, because if you kill that Medusa, just kill the Medusa. Just defense on the Medusa. Yep, okay, you win. Uh, seal not the Kira, but the, the Stone Olam. Oh my god. Alright, fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure you win. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Uh, just defense down the stone olam. It's not as tanky as it seems. Alright, just, yeah, all out on it. Oh, if my cupid crit, it would have died. But at least I got the, uh, the, uh, the seal on it before. Jesus, your blue of distribution is so unlucky, but I think you just, yeah, just kill it with the cupid and then seal the... Oh, dude, if, they, if she puts dominance on, I'm pretty fucked. Oh, nice. There you go, okay. God, that's so unlucky for you, honestly. The all the blue orbs went to the sea star, then it died. Then all the blue orbs went to the Thor, and then it, that died too. <laughs> like, yeah, it's unfortunate. 
Yeah, okay, you can just focus down the Cura now, I'd say. Man, Light Cura is so OP. It's, it's crazy. I hate Light Cura. It's, I hate everyone that has a Light Cura. It's so annoying. It's my... Oh my god. I'm yeah, trying to make just, my Dark One work, like... Pretty much just full auto that, I think. It's just... And I think you win, eventually. But yeah, that guy's defense wasn't... It's not too threatening once you just kill his damage threat, because you see how long... It's gonna take him forever to kill your guys, literally. Like, you won't, you won't even need the heals that you're gonna get. His comp okay. is just cancerous. It, it's a little bit cancerous, but then... If he doesn't land all the CC on different targets, then... Yeah, you're that, fine. That like, is you saw, true. He, he even landed that shock on you on on your on your uh, C star. It didn't even get to do anything, and you still like are just like kind of like whooping him. So, I think it's because the the hunter was too squishy. Yeah, for sure, for sure. If his if uh, it, if it was like two light thors, no granitus, like light thor lead <laughs> or some shit like <laughs> that. That would. If he made the he could have also made the hunter like super tanky, like HP HP defense, just to like bait people into attacking it. Wait, I realized I something. This thing is so squishy. Is it? Yes. I think I think it. He like secretly gemmed it. Like. Oh I don't yeah, there's know. an attack gem on it. There's definitely. An yeah. What the What the hell is going on? What is this guy doing? He's trying to do what I'm trying to do. <laughs> He's just cheesing his way. <laughs> oh boy. I remember there was like a week uh -huh. where Gnostic. He just. He didn't even uh only do it to one monster. Yeah. Every day he would change it so a different monster in his defense had like a full glass cannon instead of being oh, a yeah. Every single day of the week he did a different monster. It was so <laughs> stupid because it because after battling him once everybody knew and then they just got like double points off him the next time. You know, I was I was thinking of uh, trying a cheese comp where I get my like water nightmare to full damage, spill it like <laughs> ruin attack for damage attack or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin water. Or, yeah, attack, crit rate, attack. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. All right, so um, you can we can just hop in this with a uh, pretty much what. Let's just hop in this with something else. Uh, Cause we use this comp like twice in a row. So let's try to uh, diversify, I guess. All right. You know, I'm, I'm still trying to make this dark hero work. You want to try the dark hero? No, she's she's it, she's, she's trash. Skills? Whatever it skills. No, she's not, she's not trash, but I I know like. Theoretically, she can work, but she needs like um, she needs siphoning. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, that's a hundred, that's more abus. Do you have a more abus three star? Let's try it. Let's use her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, for who, sure. Let's just use her. Who do I take out? Uh, so keep the cupid in. Keep the put the cupid as lead, and we're gonna use dark Pandora. Now, the reason for that is because now we're going to get our 5 stars up a bunch, and other than that, you're just going to use people that like AoE, so we're actually going to use something along the lines of... Uh, do you want to be dangerous? I can be anything. Alright, we'll, we'll be really dangerous in this one. We'll use a Fire Succubus, and the reason that's dangerous is because if he has a Water Valk, you automatically lose. So I take out... Uh... Yeah, take out the Thor, because we're going to focus on getting our 5 star abilities up. Okay. And... I guess, uh, is the Kraken? Hmm. I would ask you, do you have any more fire monsters at 60? Because that's the only thing I would replace. Uh, I can regem this Arthur. No, 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 that's okay. Um, Man, I only have Light Dark. Now Now looking at my box, I realize, just look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have Light Dark, you have the Dark Indra too, that's pretty sick. Yeah, but... Man. How does he do in Titans anyways? I, I like don't actually really notice. I never see his damage by himself. But it's pretty sick though. He he does a lot of damage. Yeah, alright, cool. So we can just keep it like this. Let's just go. Let's just go with it. Oh boy. This is either gonna turn out really, really well or really, really poorly. Please no water. Oh, it's two okay. water. Two waters. We can what the f oh, if I, it seals me, I'm fucked though. I can't. I won't is, be able to sustain. This is ASDSDF's comp. Okay. Uh, just k fucking kill that water purse. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, kill the water nightmare. Just kill the water nightmare instead. Actually, just all out on it. This is not the most solid plan in the world, but please whatever. resist the seal. Oh. 
I'm fucked. Uh, no, 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 you're okay. You got, you got, you have your, you have your shield already. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it was, it was from the Dark Cura. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, just shield and then hit the, hit the, hit the Water Nightmare more. Just smack it till it dies. Cause when that's dead, you just win. Hmm, I do have the annoying seal though. It's only annoying. If, it's not. It's not that annoying right now because you have the because you have your shield. So just yeah, just smack that again. Okay. You must have your shield up again. Oh. Okay. I think you kill it though. I think you kill it. So just try with the C star. And... Oh wait, I I realized something. If I mm. attack with the cure, I get ten percent, and then it it will boost my oh. cupid. Oh maybe. Uh, right. I think so. Yes, <gasps> I was right. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I she's really even... strong. I... She's actually really strong, but I, I need yeah. to proper gems to make her work. Okay, that's I, I actually honestly I did not I did not know that I didn't I never use you I have no morale boosters, so I like have no idea. But that's so sick. Yeah, for sure. You just use the shield, use the Kraken AOE, and then try to kill the nightmare if you can. Look at that. Even I learned something new. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I really, I really want a light for Stephanie. That's yeah. Well, no, you know what I want more than anything? A uh -huh. dark Valrona. Oh yeah, she's really strong. Like she, her, she's That's the, pretty it's crazy. Easily the best monster in the game right now. Pretty much. All right. Can, so then, can you even so get the, her? I think you can. Maybe. I think maybe. My my theory, and I have no, I have no evidence to back this up, is maybe like only light dark eggs open during the festival or something. Uh, I had a person on my Discord channel summon a dark uh, Wukong during the. The first day with a light dark egg, but I think he's summonable from. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. He's not. Uh, the Sanzong was the hero festival one. Oh uh, yeah. All right. So then, uh, just try to kill that with your three dark units, and then you're gonna save the uh, succubus if you can. Yeah. There we go. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! This the water. The fire succubus was a horrible idea. <laughs> oh my god! It's not working out. It's it's a tank. Oh my god! Okay, just hit the hit the. Hit the wood valve. <laughs> Hit the wood valve with it. Maybe you heal up and Come maybe on, please. He make... live somehow. <laughs> don't crit. All right, it's dead. Holy shit! It did like ninety thousand damage. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, we said if he has a water valve, he lose. But we can maybe try to kill the water valve. Yeah, it's it's possible. Maybe I. Oh, it's dead. Oh shit! Well, I guess that's why it did sixty thousand damage. Yeah, it's it's full glass cannon. Okay, right, I finally so have my AOE we up. Can SP siphon, yeah, we can SP siphon. Should I? I might as well yeah. put the shield up as well. Yeah, definitely the shield up too. Because we don't want him to... Um... Do I kill the purse? Yeah, purse first. Purse first. No SP bar for you, bitch. I think. Okay, just kidding. What does SP siphon oh. do? It uh, It's basically like you have a siphoning set on. Oh... Yeah. Okay. I thought it was you steal their SP. Never mind. All right, just that's, hit that's first, dominance. So. That's the light. Ah. Um, uh, okay. I knew there was one of them that did that. Okay. I have no. See, I have no idea with all these different healer skills. All I use is the shield one. All right. Pretty much, you just set it to. Honestly, you could probably just set it to auto and have the same results. Let's just see. Let's just you see know, how this works. You know, dominance is actually really OP because it it can't be resisted. It, yeah. It's basically like. I uh, think Having thirst or something. Yeah, it's a dominance is pretty strong. Like, okay. Oh wait, I can I, do this. I can I can boost my bar up again, with my C with my Cura, and then my C star can do do the. Yeah, OB. for sure. Um, I'm not sure why the Shiva isn't using its. Does it not have it? It looks like it has it. I think it's a. Uh, AOE... no, 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 don't shield! Don't. Oh, oh shit! No. My bad. I don't. I don't think your C star can kill it by itself. That's why. Oh yeah, that is true. Mm, I, don't right, know I, I just wasted more time, but it's still like I'm I'm okay. It's not it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. You're good. All right. This is taking Man, forever. You know, speaking of the stupid siphon sets, I'm actually trying to gem my fire valk on a siphon set, but it's taking so long. Like I need. Oh my god, those gems are so ridiculously stupidly hard to get. Yeah, the dr dragons is pretty insane. Mm -hmm. Like, like you, you spend like 50 dragon sigils, you get like maybe one usable gem. 
pretty much, and I need a specific one now. I need an HP Siphon Gem. Right now, I don't even care if it has resist, honestly, because my other two gems combined have an extra 46 resist, so... That was pretty lucky, at least. This is... Right. This is I so... mean, it's just gonna take a little bit, but it's, I mean, it is over. It is over. There's no way that it's... You're not... Oh my god. To think this is pretty much a 3v4, honestly. Yeah, that, that suck this, this was... <laughs> <laughs> of course the guy that you find has a water Valk. Oh my god. He has three water monsters, like, come on, man. Alright. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is even happening? Oh, man. And we're almost good to go. Let's just, after this, what do you think we do? One more random battle? Alright. Yeah. This is already getting pretty long because these battles, obviously, like since it's high arena, it's taking a pretty long time. It's about uh, forty-five minutes right now. Yeah. Okay. We'll definitely we'll, we'll cut. We'll do one last bat. We're in a battle, and then we'll call it. A, we'll call it a video. All right. Perfect. So good stuff. We're one hundred percent win rate so far. Still, that's good. Do I? Yeah. I refresh. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So what? What's the last comp? Um, what monster? What one monster do you want to try out? What do you want to try out? You haven't seen my Light Siren. You haven't seen light my siren? Cancer Comp. Alright, let's see it. You want, oh god, we're doing the can we're doing a Cancer Comp? Yeah, we're doing the Cancer Comp. Oh boy. Our, our Cancer Comp is, uh, is 3 healer. This beats everything. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just used the fucking Pandora 2 or something. I, I can't, it's, it's, I need a no, little bit yeah, of damage. No way, yeah, you, don't, you don't win if you use the fucking Pandora, okay. Yeah, okay, let's... Okay. Have you ever seen this Cancer Comp? No, this beats I, everything. I Let's see it. Actually, there against some comps like the one just now, I might actually have to draw because it would just like nobody would be able to kill anyone. Yeah, that's. True, but against actually. this, I can win. Oh, for sure. Oh, this guy. Oh, I I know this guy. I bet I battled this guy so many times already this week. All right, so uh, pretty much just kill the water Arthur because you can actually kill it. That's gonna be the first thing seal the water persephone though seal the water persephone okay let's see if i can seal her oh nice i yep. got it all right if you now you can probably kill that thing all right so the thing with the light siren is she basically always has her shield up second turn or third turn oh shit their two wood units are doing a lot of damage that was also the arthur the arthur did i think all four folk yeah all four focused it oh man uh -oh. it's unfortunate i'm in trouble uh you can just Hit it with the uh, hit it with your two aggressors. I don't even know what this guy's hitting. Is I forgot. Oh no, it's ah, a Thor. I have to. Th okay, that's okay. We Can know I that see? we know where that's gonna hit, so it's okay. Oh wait. I think I think your nightmare's dead. To be honest. Who do I seal? Uh, Thor. Honestly. I don't even know what the wood Indra does. I I literally do this not. This is this is gonna sound really dumb, but seal the Persephone again. Oh yeah, that's true. It makes it. So I can buy one more turn. Yeah, I just hit it, hit it. Cause you need to kill. If you don't kill that Persephone, everything goes to shit. Hmm. Like he, la he landed. Oh, the shot. he landed it. Oh, I thought because you had the night. Okay. Well, you kind of just focused on the uh, Persephone, to be honest. It's all right. You haven't seen real cancer yet. All right, it starts now. Oh no. Sorry. Right. Oh, or she'll she'll be back to full HP next turn. Don't don't worry. <laughs> oh, I'm very nervous right now. Okay. Don't don't be. Okay. So it, you, you can maybe kill that thing soon. Yeah, my shield again. Please live. Oh, oh yes, I live. Oh, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> what is this? This battle is so intense. This is a healing <laughs> battle. Why is it so intense? Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, why do they keep focusing this stupid whore in? Oh my god, what is this? Why is it still alive? What is going on? <laughs> oh my god, Ever all your shields are breaking too. Oh, I think, I think your whore might be dead. Hmm, Focus, I might the next. Focus the intro next. We might have to call it a draw. Maybe, yeah. But don't worry, it's fine. We can come I mean, back with a stronger no comp. I mean, there's no way you lose. Yeah, that's oh, how it, that's how I began my uh, 
I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, Siren. Use the Siren one because your uh, Cupid is a, is an aggressor, yeah. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, there's absolutely zero way you win this one, though. Like, you cannot possibly win because the Valkyrie. I don't, you, there's no way you do 20% of its health. I think it's my nightmare's fault. If she was like. Her, if her gems were plus 15, I probably would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Imagine if the thing was Evo 3 with plus 15 gems. Do we call Easy. it a draw? Yeah, just call it a draw. Okay, we're gonna have to come back with a stronger comp. Okay, you wanna try again? This All is right. this is what I always do when I start when I started doing this random battle. I just go in with this comp. If I win, <laughs> I win. If I don't win, I draw and I come back with another another comp. It's legit. Alright, hmm. let's just uh Definitely, okay, I don't think we can use the Nightmare. Let's just use the Cupid and then, like, two Aggressors, I think. I do like, the, I, I like the Light Siren, though. Like, with C-Star Aggressor, or? Yeah, just one of each, why not? Have some, let's just have some diversity. Okay, I, I guess that's pretty good. Alright. It was really unlucky last, uh, last fight as well. Because she usually <laughs> gets her... Th like, no blue soul went to her, because she usually yeah. gets her shield up third turn, always. Yeah. So now we get... <sighs> Let's focus the Persephone. And the reason is I kind of want the Arthur to get his 5-star up. So that Persephone can't heal. Instead, she'll use her stupid AoE on your Light Siren shield. Okay. So, Persephone, yeah, just, just send everyone. Yep. Not bad. I think you kill it next turn, then easy. You have to get the same. Oh, just kidding! Fuck light dark units and their stupid zero resist. Ugh. All right, just try to kill it again. Close. Right. Oh, this, that is kind of yeah. unlucky. Oh my gosh! Stupid fucking wood injury. All right. Wait, who do I use? The two aggressors. Uh, two aggressors. Yeah, that should be enough. Oh, more than enough even. Nice. Okay. Now we run into a tiny bit of a problem, and that problem is called uh, the shock. Light Thor, Light Thor, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to focus on the Arthur first, because that's going to be pretty easy to kill. You should have both your shields up. Mm, that that's is just one. Bad. Okay, that's fine. Okay, no shock. Mm -hmm. you're, you're perfectly fine right now. And they're deciding to focus C-Star, so she'll be able to yep. survive pretty well. Yeah. Just you focus just Arthur? Focus, yeah, just focus the Arthur. They should burn their AoEs on your shield, and then you should have another uh, shield up right then. So that's yes. good. And they didn't even break it on the C-Star. Yeah, not even bad. Yep, new shield. It actually replaces the old one. Man, how, how uh, am I going to kill this Arthur? You can just kill it. Because the only reason it healed up was because of the Valkyrie's AoE. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep, you're good. All right. Mm, how are they stunning all my guys? It's the wood injury has 100% stun. No, like how is it n never oh. resisting? I haven't gotten a single resist since oh, we started. Oh god, oh, stuck double armor resists. break. Uh, uh, okay, C star on the Arthur. Yeah, C star on the Arthur should kill. Yep, and then the Indra. Cause mm. that thing annoying as fuck. He's right. left, Cupid. Oh my god, I got you. Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay, the defense down is off next turn, so it's not gonna die. It is yeah. not gonna die. Uh, just full Nuka. auto on the intro. Yeah. I think what I need okay. to do is replace the this horn with another Dark Sea Star, and this comp will be pretty strong. So I have like mm, max okay. resist. Mm. Oh, whoops. I forgot to turn the auto off, but I think I still win. That's okay, yeah. Wait, 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 no, oh my god. <laughs> it's okay, just focus the Light Thor next, and then the uh, Valkyrie. Then you, yeah, you'll win. Hey, I have, yeah. my, I have my own cancer comp. <laughs> Jeez, I consider my cancer comp to be pretty much a, a Water Nightmare lead with Light Hanna. Uh -huh. And then I, and then I use a, <laughs> and then I have my, um, what's it called? Fire... Shit, what fire guy did I use before I used my fire Indra? Oh, I don't even remember. 
What did I use before? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't use a fire. I used my light Nike before, and then I also used, um... Wait, this this uh, wood valk is so squishy. Okay. What is going on? I think he secretly gen one slot attack. Man, what is up with these guys and their squishy ass Evo three nat fives today? Oh well. They're doing it on purpose, like because they know nobody attacks the the. Yeah, I mean it's smart. All right. The valk. So I guess that's the PVP part, right? Yeah. All right. You wanna. You want me to look at your defense, or are you comfortable with your defense? Uh, you can look at my defense. Definitely, definitely right. look at my defense. All right, this is my defense. Okay. Oh man, I got so many defeats. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I I got nothing better. I'm sorry. It it is good that you're that you know your problem, and that problem is the fact that your units don't have very high resist, right? Yeah. Hmm. So, I mean, honestly, I wish there was something I could actually like give advice it with that's gonna be like super useful and like prophetic even but there's not much to do except for try to improve your defense because I do think that um, you mm. are obviously very dark heavy and type diversification with dark units isn't gonna be the best idea whereas a lot of people that when they come to me with PvP defense advice I say like okay stray away from light dark units and stuff because um, for the most part they can be abused yeah. However, since you, you're kind of the opposite, where I would say definitely stay with your dark units, but stay either all dark or all light. You know what I mean? Obviously, the Nightmare is okay because you need that leader skill for now. Yeah. But you want to stay with, like, all dark or all light for the most part, right? Because if you mix out, if you mix them up, then mm -hmm. if they if, then if the enemy brings in all dark or all light team, then you get really, really hardcore fuck. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess I just have to improve my gems. That's really all I can do. Yeah, that, that pretty much that's what I would advise you to do. Although, honestly, maybe you could put in the Dark Thor. Because I've seen a lot of Dark Thors on defense. They do decently well. I guess maybe so. For like, maybe for one of the Horns. The hidden one or the... the I would I would hide the Horns. The, this probably. one's stronger. I would hide the Horn. And the reason for that is that uh, you don't want Dark Thor to use its 5-star skill. Right? Yeah. All right. The other than that, it looks pretty... I mean, it looks decent enough, I think. Alright. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll try this out for a few days and see, see yeah. how good it is. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it'll help insanely much, right? But it could help a little bit. Alright. Anyways. Okay. So, yeah. I thought, for the most part, like, you were doing really well, like, and you have, like, some good... And you have definitely some good ideas coming in. Uh -huh. uh, but there's just a couple things that I would say as, like, kind of a final note are number one kind of like you definitely like you definitely have to work on your gems and i think and you definitely know that it's not something like you don't know yeah um but other than that i think that uh training up some like non-light dark units <laughs> <laughs> i think I, right the game has been giving me a lot of water i, I mean oh that's good actually yeah definitely you can uh, you can actually f ooh, you probably evil three that water nightmare if you wanted I, I could, but I don't have enough gleams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's, that's the problem for me, too. First world problems oh, right yeah. here. The other thing is, I, I don't know if I want to sack my fire one. Like, I mean, yeah, it's pretty... I mean, you can keep it. You can try it out for your goal and run, see if it's faster and stuff. And uh, even try it out in PvP and stuff like that if you want. Uh, yeah. But Evo's Water Nightmare is pretty ridiculous coming from like someone who actually like uses one for yeah, everything. That, that is true. Alright, when I save enough gleams and I don't pull another nightmare, I'll, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll yeah, evil yeah. through it. Uh, but other than that, your, your prioritization was decent. The only thing I would say is, um, for the SP batteries, you want to consider whether or not it's, like, good for them to have SPs, which is kind of, that's honestly more of a high, of like a super high tier arena thing, and like, but I know that you are pretty, like, high tier arena, especially right now with, with, uh, like, if you're, like, rank, like, 60, I think, right now, or something like that. Uh -huh. So that's something to think about, like, Water Arthurs aren't really that threatening if the team comp doesn't take advantage of having a five-star abilities up, right? Yeah, that is true. I didn't, I never actually consider that. I always try to, like, think of it as, once he, when he, once he gets it, gets it off, like, everybody starts spamming. Yeah, for sure, but it's yeah. not it's not as bad as people think, especially for you, since you have your Dark Cupid, uh, which is going to pretty much like negate a bunch of the damage anyways and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, and the other thing that I would say is, 
since you have two sea stars and two horns, I know I think you do it with the horns, right? You have one on intuition or something like that, and one on a and one on ruin. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. I would probably have your second sea uh, star on ruin just to like mix it up a little bit because that means one's better for offense and one's better for defense, and my like the intuition one's going to be better for defense, whereas right. the ruin one is going to be better for offense. I, I mean, I would if I had the ruin gems to. to yeah, yeah, up. yeah. I know. I have. Oh my God, ruin gems are so annoying. But yeah, other than that, like you have it, you have a pretty, uh, you have a pretty good understanding of it. There's obviously a, a little other nuances, like for example, like a, a couple times you weren't comboing with your Cupid and C Star because of the attack uh, speed and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. So, those are just like little nuances, honestly, and they're not for the most part they're not going to affect like 99% of PVP battles, anyways, right? Uh huh. Uh, but yeah. So, Sometimes it's that little bit of combo damage that like you know exactly, puts exactly. you over the edge. I don't even right. think it does that much, but I know it's like it does a little bit extra. I think it's like five percent. I you know that. I don't know. So it's something really low, but actually five percent is pretty significant if you think about it. I guess. Uh, yeah, maybe it's it's definitely nothing like too important, but it can be important, right? Like it can yeah. be the difference between killing something and not killing it. Yeah, that's true. All right. Um... So that's the end of the video, guys. Um, be sure to check out um, Blondasuna's channel. I'll have his link in the description below. And if you want him to coach you, um, then go on his Discord. I'll also have that below as well. So you want to say goodbye to everyone? Um, yeah. Or, or introduce uh, your channel a little <laughs> sure. bit. Sure. Uh, for basically for my channel, I just use, I I'll, most of my channels just like PvP stuff. But then I also have like. Um, like I said, I kind of make a lot of guides and stuff. Like for example, right now on Reddit, there has like been a lot of posts about which nat like uh, people are getting more and more nat fives, and they're like, oh, which one should I Evo three? So I'm making a video series for each nat five, talking through the pros and the cons and stuff. And then I'm also doing like some different golem stuff and just basically like teaching people the game, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's basically my channel. If you guys want to check it out. All right. Uh, thank you so much for this this video. Um, yeah. And thank you for inviting me on. <laughs> And yeah, we'll we'll see you guys in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.